winter wonderland out there, but I'm picking corn. And believe it or not, that snow is actually settling down and disappearing a little bit. Time to pick off some end rows here. There's a 12 row planter, so I'm like picking a half a head. Anyway, just a little triangle down here. Uh, yeah, a lot of snow, but the shucks seem to be dry. I haven't any sip build up issues or anything, but it's been a high of 30 today. It started out at like one degree this morning, which is just ridiculously cold for this time of year. And not pleasant. Uh, Callie went to town for me, and she got diesel 911 or and some house, whatever they had, so I could get it in all the fuel tanks before I started anything, so I could get it mixed up, because I think everything was number two, and it was probably getting ready to gel up good. I've let the uh, 4450 on the auger run all day, and just trying to keep things warm and warmed up so there's not any problems. But it is, it is damn cold out there. That tapers out. Ugh, I hate these little pointy roads. Anywho, um, I am combining and it's working well. But it is cold and frozen and everything is half ass froze up and it's, it sucks. I am ready for that 50 degree weather to come pour them back here that they're claiming we're going to get. I think we probably haven't got frozen ground, so hopefully if we get that 50 degree weather, you know, hopefully it'll actually be conducive to do some fall work. But with the snow on, it's going to be a slow melt. I'm going to try to do what I can do while it's cold uh, tonight, just and maybe even tomorrow, because I got a feeling this starts melting. It's going to turn to liquid soup. Anyway, enjoy the rest of the video. Um, God, I hate these tanks with little point rows. Anyway, alright, watch the rest of the video. Well, if this thing will focus here. For a while, I've been trying to get this little 3020 finished up. Finally, had some time here because of the wet weather. Got the uh, you know, stack and stuff put back on the right way. I had uh, these really, really good fenders they were over on the gas tractor because those are so extremely nice. I mean, there's just perfect, perfect pair of original fenders. Uh, the Brand X sheet metal doesn't fit where the crap. This is the only thing yet I got to switch out. That's an A&I battery box. I'm gonna switch it out for the original one that's on the uh, gas tractor right now. And Mr. Marilyn Mike has been, let's just say complaining, but uh, it's all good, good humor, but, uh, and I have too, but mean to do it. But uh, here you go, man. Oh, I got these uh, duels painted for you. So, no more uh, Fent 3020. <laughs> so, got that done. I didn't paint the hubs. I actually took them off, didn't paint the hubs uh, or any of the bolts. And I didn't paint anything else. I was gonna leave the tractor natural patina, I guess. I just don't really have time to restore the whole thing, but those red duels really drastically needed painted so anyway got that done quick hitch and everything back on it uh, the three point arms went through all that stuff made sure it's working got the plugs in there I kept my better again I kept my better sheet metal even here my rocker shaft cover my originals my original seat mount so while this metal's maybe not the prettiest I look for dense straightness uh, even these hooks are just in perfect condition. There's the original sticker. So it's, it's, it is patina, let's say, but it, it, it's original. It's extremely straight. I mean, there's not a dent or nick or anything in it. So for its age, it's very, very good. So yeah, I'm getting this little tractor finished up so that it can be uh, used again. Uh, switching some things around on the gas uh, 3020 will be up for sale uh, it's a really good little tractor uh, I did put my aftermarket metal on it I am gonna get some fenders they're gonna be originals out of the junkyard but ever finding another set that looked like these will never ever happen again so and I know that so I'm just gonna get the best ones I can find put them on that gas and that gas tractor I'm gonna sell it so anybody interested in it let me know good tractor but uh, I am gonna focus all my original perfect 
perfection into the, the diesel, which was the original plan anyway. So even you got a little hardware putting all the three points and everything. And if you follow me and watch my videos on these little 3020 project, you can see all the stuff I've done to it over time. Need to paint the front wheels and match the backs now, but I'll probably do that. And, uh, everything else I'm probably just not going to paint right now. It's got the new gauges in it, uh, which I've already shown. Stuff like that, it's already done to it. I am going to get the turbo done on it this winter. Uh, so as for this tractor to complete it, I think I'm going to put the uh, uh, 4430 exhaust on it with a uh, the M and W or the Rajay rebuilt turbocharger, and that's about it. Like I say, that battery box and the switch, I got a few oil leaks to attend to, and then that's that's it. This thing is it's done, uh, or as done as it's going to get. Because everything will be fixed and redone. Good to go.